Hi, Michelle Seitz here. You're watching Sort. Here's the scenario. You have a list that you would like to sort alphabetically. You would also like to sort a list of books by their author and year. Watch this video to learn how to do this. Let's start with a shopping list that you would like to sort alphabetically. Highlight all the items in your list. Go to the paragraph group on the home tab and select the sort function. This will display a dialog box. If you check the drop down, you'll see some selections. I could select any of the items to get the same result with one column. The type field has selections. Most of the time it will accurately detect whether the column is text or a number or a date and default to that item. Leave the default or change it as you wish. The last item is a selection to choose ascending or descending order. After you make all your choices, select OK. Now your list is in order alphabetically. In this next list, I've added an aisle column and a header row. So you may like to sort your shopping list by aisle. Now when you highlight your list and click the sort function when the dialog box opens, you want to tell Word that you have a header row. So check this button. If the header row radio button is not active, select paragraph in the sort by column. Now select header row. Now when you click the down arrow, you will see the name of your columns. If you want to sort by aisle first, select it in this field. Notice that when you select it, the type field changed to a number automatically. And also notice the second sort by fields are active. And when you click the down arrow, you can select the item column. And it will sort your selection first by aisle and then by item. You can sort lists of numbers as well. Highlight them. Click Sort and OK. Numbers in a table are just as easy. Put your cursor in the table. Click Sort. Choose your field Sort Order and Type. And click OK. Now I will sort three columns with a header row. Notice when I highlight the entire selection and click Sort, it doesn't see the header row. But if I go out and bold the top line and then highlight the selection and click sort, it automatically knows there's a header row. Now make your selection in the order in which you would like to display them and click OK. I want my order to be author, year, and then title. You don't have to have your text in columns to sort them. You can separate your text with a tab, column, or other, such as a dash as I have here. When I highlight my selection and click Sort, and then click Options, you can see I have more choices. It automatically detected that I separated the text with a dash. Click OK, make your field order selections, and click OK again. Your highlighted selection is now sorted in the order you chose. Here's a hint. If you'd like to see your selection in a table format, click Insert, Table, Insert Table. And that is the end of this lesson, Sort.